Hey guys, welcome. So, um, Mate Desktop for Debian 12, and this was requested by a subscriber. He wanted to know how to well decorate the desktop, give it a little bit more of a modern look. Well, I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of changes, so I'll show you some examples. So, first of all, the icon set that I'm using is called Futura. This is the large and the small, I'll go full screen. Um, and I will also talk about custom mouse pointers or mouse cursors. That one is see-through. You can probably see right through it. It's just the outline. And uh, I'll just give you different uh, perspectives today. Filming in 1920 by 1080. You are watching this on Linux for Seniors. There should be an icon floating around in the corner. Linux for Seniors. Linux is for any age, but the name of my channel is Linux for Seniors. All right. Hopefully you've seen enough of that. So I'm going to open up the control center and give you a couple of more examples. Uh, and then I'll use the file manager as my other display area. So appearance. So I got a couple things installed. I'll show you where to install them and uh, how you can remove them rather easily instead of using this tool. I use everything using the file manager, but you need to pick it from here. Your mouse pointers are picked over here. So I'm using empty butterfly yellow if you're curious. I will show you where you can get this, okay? Anyways, your standard pointer looks like that, and uh, maybe the default is that. Okay, so I added this one, that one, and this one. And I'll crank the size back up. All right, this is installed in the same location though as my icon set, believe it or not. And I'll walk you through that. It's a hidden folder in here. So this is Futura. This is what candy icons look like. So I'll go full screen. Give you the perspective of Dinky to Jumbo. In other words, large to small. And then I have also the same developer has a sweet rainbow. It's a neon colored going full screen. And also a yellow version of that or neon yellow. Okay, very colorful things. At the same time, uh, I did not show you this though. At the same time, what's happening here is my icon sets look different in the menus also. Just walking through the menus here to give you a different perspective. Are all of these themes and icon sets perfect? No. But one of the things that you can do is to test things out for yourself. And if you don't like it, you delete these things. That's the cool thing about it. It's very simple to do. And I'll show you all you can do that with your file manager. So I'm going to switch back to Futura. So let's talk about the magic folder in here. Our user for today is Deb12. It's just a made up name. And uh, I'll go full screen. So making these larger for you. Control H to display hidden files and folders. So you can certainly click that and show hidden control H. Right click, create a folder. I want you to create a .icons folder if you don't have it. I do this quite frequently. .icons, period icons. This is the name of the mouse pointer I'm currently using. Empty Butterfly Yellow VR5. I'll even show you the website where you can get this. Candy icons I already showed you. Sweet Rainbow and Sweet Yellow. Future icons is what you're looking at right now. Then I have Pokemon the mouse pointer and Radioactive also a mouse pointer. Both the icon sets and the mouse pointers are installed in dot icons. Okay, just to bring that up. But they're not picked in the same location. So you basically go to appearance. Whatever is installed in dot icons, you can hit customize and hit the icon sets from here. So candy, let me open this file manager up again. So that was candy icon, future icons, and then I added the sweet rainbow and the sweet yellow. Just examples. I'll switch back to future and close. Where do you get these things? Well, are you a subscriber to Linux for Seniors? If not, let me talk and uh, go onto the internet. All right, you can either find me uh, through YouTube or you just type in at Linux for Seniors one word into any standard search engine on a web browser. 
and you'll find my link to my channel. Again, if you don't see that subscription logo, go find me here because there are some others that are recasting these videos and stripping off the logo. All right, the videos are also for any user of regardless of age. All right, just wanted to make mention of that. So I have two choices where I can get these. I can go to gnome-look.org or xfce-look.org. I'm gonna use that one. All right, so 839 mouse pointers or mouse cursors and also 1,693 icon themes. Basically, it's very simple. You find something, if you like it, take a peek at it, click on it. If you like the theme, this one has 13 of them. Um, I'm not even sure what color we can use. How about orange? And I just need to wait for that thing to count down. All right, so you can find a lot of material on this website, but your cursors, you can also do a search for, okay? So if you like that one that I'm currently using, then you can uh, go download that. So I'm just waiting for it to download. So this again is an icon theme. So it belongs in dot icons. So let's uh, uncompress that because that's what you need to do to do this manually. Right click, extract here. It extracts into a nice container. Let's take a peek at it. And it has three themes. Oh, so in this case, I would need to pull them out separately because I cannot install this just like it is. And if you try to do the automated installer, it will probably fail. So I will pick one. How about we use the, maybe that one? Or we can do all three. Yeah, let's just do all three. I'll just cut all of them. And uh, and why didn't I want to move the subfolder? Because the system won't be able to detect it properly. You need to actually uh, do it this way. So let me go full screen and uh, we're at the main folder, control H, and I'm gonna dump these into dot icons. I'm gonna open that up and it has an index theme that should work. That one has an index theme and the last one. Okay, let's take a peek at these. And I'll just leave this here with hidden turned off. And I'll resize these back up. All right, let's take a peek at these and appearance, customize, icons, and it's called flat remix orange. Wow, that is orange, very orangey. And that's the light version. I'm assuming I have to switch to a light theme to do that with, and I'm not sure what that one is. They're both dark, but that one says light dark panel. That's interesting. And so let me close this box because this is a dark theme. It's hard to see sometimes. And let's take a look at the menus. And the control center. Okay, and of course the icon set themselves from tiny to large, they are definitely orangey. So this is how you can uh, test out different things. If you don't like the thing, switch to something different. I'll switch to Futura, close, and more importantly, close, close, and hopefully I didn't close the recording software. No, I don't think I did. Um, let me just empty my trash real quick because I know I got junk in there. And what I'm gonna demo as soon as it gets done dumping is I'm gonna delete some of these, Control H. So if I didn't like a theme, maybe it didn't work out, maybe I just didn't like it for whatever reason, I don't like any of these orange ones, right? I'm just gonna drag a line through all three and hit delete on my keyboard and they're in my trash right now, okay? And then when I go to the actual um, control center, these will not be there anymore. So now you can see the list. And if I change my mind, the nice thing about using your file manager for this purpose is you can always change your mind and do a restore. Now they're back online. 
So the whole thing about um, appearance and icon sets and mouse pointers is the fact that, uh, I'm gonna open up the file manager while I'm talking here, is the fact that when you are doing this, you can test out things. And then if you don't like these things, you delete them. So now you can see all three are back online again. So I'll switch to Futura. So that was one example. That's your standard GNOME ones. The standard Mate, Menta, and I added the sweet rainbow and sweet yellow. So now you know how to spice up your desktop a little bit for the Mate desktop for this system. So thank you for watching.